hello students today we are going to start with the third animal pyrosoma in the paper 11 of biology of chordates unit 1 life history of sessile and pelagic tunicates and ascidians pyrosoma salpa dolulum and oikopleura so i have already done oikopleura and dolulum complete and now i am coming to the third animal that is the pyrosoma and this is the previous lecture of pyrosoma there will be a uh, one more lecture after this uh, so let's begin with pyrosoma <coughs> pyrosoma is a free swimming pelagic and colonial thaliacean found in warm tropical oceans and it is found more abundantly in mediterranean and atlantic ocean now in this sentence the word colonial is very important if you go to a ocean and try to find pyrosoma the individual is not present in a single form it is attached with the colony and the colony is having a numerous number of individuals which together form a tube like formation all the individuals they are arranged inside the tube and they are communicating by their branchial apertures to the outside and inside the tube the atrial apertures they are all opening into a common cavity which is known as the common cloaca this you will be uh, seeing in the diagram in the forthcoming slide and then you will clearly understand what the structure is since its colonies they emit a brilliant phosphorescent phosphorescent light pyrosoma is commonly called fire flames and pyrosoma is made up by breaking by two words pyre which means fire and soma which means body so they are known as fire flames a colony of pyrosoma is like a hollow cylinder as i already explained and its length it may vary from an inch to 12 feet up to 12 feet it is open at one end but closed at the other with the uh, which i had explained a tube like formation the tube is closed at one end and open at the other its wall is a thick gelatinous test in which numerous zooids called the acidozooids or blastozooids are embedded and you uh, should not con get confused by the words acidozooids or blastozooids they are representing the one individual like the one individual pyrosoma which together with all the other individuals are forming a colony all zooids are arranged in a single series with their antero posterior axis being at right angles to the surface of the colony here you should understand that the antero posterior axis means an axis which is running from the branchial aperture to the atrial aperture so in these individuals unlike the other ones in which the branchial and atrial aperture are present on the dorsal surface like in herdmania as you you have studied before the both the apertures they are present on the dorsal surface they are facing towards the upper end but in these pyrosoma it is not so the branchial aperture lies at one end of the animal which may be called the anterior end and the atrial aperture it lies on the other end and obviously it will be the posterior end so this axis 
which is joining the branchial and atrial aperture is a straight line and this straight line as com as uh, compared to the tube not compared as uh, if you see the alignment of this axis anterior posterior axis it is perpendicular to the the base tube which the all the individuals are forming together means they are at the right angles to the surface of the colon their oral or branchial apertures are directed outwards opening at the surface of the colony so that they have all the access to the ocean water in which all the animals which they are feeding upon they are wandering and they can trap those through their branchial aperture whereas their atrial apertures are directed inwards opening into the cavity of the cylinder this cavity thus a common cloaca which communicates with the exterior at the open end of the colony this opening is usually guarded by a highly contractile muscular velum or diaphragm formed as a membranous prolongation of the test and the mantle of the neighboring zooms this text which we have done in this slide it may not be very clear to you before you see the diagram and that diagram lies in the next slide so here is all the explanation which i have done before in the slides you can understand it by the help of these diagrams the diagram is showing a colony of pyrosoma there are three views given a b and c the view a is showing the lateral view of entire colony the view b is showing the colony viewed from its open end you can see a hole in between uh, this is the open end and it is guarded by the velum and again this is more clear in the c view in which a longitudinal section of the colony is shown and you can see the acidozoids we'll look for the labeling acidozoids they can they are acidozoids oblique blastozoids they are also known as blastozoids and you can see their branchial apertures which are opening to the outside and they are guarded by test processes which are formed by the mantle of the adjacent individuals and then there is a common cloaca which in which all the uh, atrial apertures of all acidozoids are opening and through the, the the common cloaca it is communicating to outside through the cloacal aperture which is lying between the uh, sh shelf like structure the velum and in between all the acidus fluids the colony tube which is forming it is formed by the test so this is the structure of the colony and the velum it regulates the jet propagation of sea water from the cloaca to the outside by which means when the water it is forcing out through the cloacal aperture and uh, you can imagine it must be a big amount of water as thousands of acidozoids they are releasing their uh, uh, water through their atrial apertures into this common cloaca so there is a la large amount of water which has to be pushed out and so when it is pushed out it is like a propulsion it is uh, pushed out with a force and this may be considered as an action and the reaction is the movement of the colony on the opposite side so uh, this may be taken as the locomotion means when the colony is moving from one place to from one point to other point the displacement is there so this becomes the locomotion of the colony the ventral surface of all the zoids is always directed towards the closed end and the dorsal surface 
towards the open end of the colon means the surface which is facing the cloacal aperture where the velum is present that surface is the dorsal surface and the uh, surface which is towards facing towards the closed end of the tube is the ventral surface so this completes the structure of pyrosome and now we will do the important part of this animal that is the life history or you may say the reproduction how it happens in the animal so in the next lecture i will be covering with the reproduction of the animal by which new individuals are formed and these new individuals they all they they will they will go on adding in the test with the tube like structure and the tube will keep growing till it attains its maximum size so thank you and look forward to the other lecture